Good morning. We're gonna start out by dumping a load of mix. Then we're gonna go haul unscreened loom back to the gravel pit. We got four trailers today. Four. Boston Trucker here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy it. We got a couple guest drivers today. We got Guy Sawyer. Hey, Mike, can we get rid of this stuff in the front or just the stuff on back? Uh, anything. Whatever, whatever, whatever's next that's open, just grab it. Okay. We got Guy Sawyer in the T800 and we got Freddie Chrome in the Western Star. Both have jobs helping us out today. Good guys. Good friends. Grabbing the gold. Morning. <laughs> I think it wasn't, buddy. I, I'll pull in half his room. Back, sure. What about the guy in the Kohina with yeah, the low bed? I, I didn't realize this little blue car stuck in there when okay. I was looking. Okay. He told me to let him know on the radio, so no room for him? Okay. Uh, John, you can come in, he said. Room open. All right, I'm right by. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Danny.
it's Saturday. We've been hauling all morning. I pulled in here with the tractor trailer just to be a spectator and they guided me into the yard. So I'm among all these beautiful D round trucking trucks. Foxborough, Massachusetts. Look at these rigs. These are all working trucks. Superliner and look at these R models. Oh my God. Unreal, unreal. One stack max, all of them. What a place. What a playground. Look at this one. Look at this. Well, I gotta clean. I'm gonna see if I can clean this lens. Hold on. So nice, so nice. Trying to bring it to you in the rain. Sorry about that. If the rain gets on the lens, this is Mac country around here. Get all these beauties. And a beautiful 379 Pete. Kohino out of Stoughton. We're at the Bay State Antique, Ch the Bay State Chapter Antique Truck Show. Got Paul Casper pulling out with one of his beautiful super liners. Look. Throw them in your truck. Oh, thank you very much. Nice Appreciate it. I'm good, thank you so much. Wow, it is coming down out here. Holy cow. I'm gonna go throw these in my truck. This is a working truck, 359. John McLean. So people have been trying to figure out where was I gonna go work? When I left Cardillo, well, it was right here, and this was the truck I was going to drive. Manning Trucking, formerly of Walpole, now in Canton, Massachusetts. I was going to be driving this truck. It's a 260 inch wheelbase, 379, 1995 Peterbilt. Formerly had a 60 inch bunk on it when it first came out on the road. This was the truck. This was another one of that truck. This one was driven by Kyle. He's the operations manager and driver, slash mechanic, jack of all trades. This is a 1985 359. This was the truck I was going to drive right here. This is the interior. I took it for a ride. It's an awesome truck. They're looking for a driver for this. Legacy low, long wheelbase. Yeah, I was, I was pretty excited, I tell you. I'm going to uh, take out my microfiber and clean this off so you can see better. All right. Got a cool 359 here. They had three tractors. They had these two and they had an 85 auto car stretched out. It was a pretty sick ride. That would be a spare tractor that I would drive sometimes too. Check out the interior. Kyle's ride here. Old school cool right there. Yeah, I mean, it all worked out for me. Still a little bummed out about how, it, how, how things went down, but it worked out, I guess, for me. Hopefully, hopefully they find a guy. I feel bad. I still feel bad. It's like, dude, I'm going to feel bad for a long time. Check out these old Max. This place is, uh, you know, I've been looking for some good yards with some old trucks. I mean, it doesn't get any cooler than this. Look at that pipe. I like to hear that thing snap, crackle, crackle and pop. So it's got a V8 in it. Look at that. Really cool truck. OB model, is that a V81? I bet this thing could tell some stories. If it could talk. Oh, Manning, Manning, look at that. I'd have looked so good in that truck, man. <laughs> Thinking about it. How good I would have looked in that truck. Jeez. It's okay. We would Cardillo. 
or getting me a new truck. You know, I'm really excited about new trucks too. All right, talk continues. I'm gonna pull up the microfiber here. Let me make it work. Got some old trailer here. Look at this. I never, this is before my time. Engine pulling up that landing gear. Holy cow. Oh, it's not air ride? I thought it was air ride. That is a cool ride. Oh, got a Matt Cab right here. All right. And what is this truck right here, anyways? What kind of model Mac is this? It's all steel. Snub nose. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. To find a see if we can get some information. Oh, two cabs back there. This thing's pretty neat. Got a 1993 fuel sticker on it. Open. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. What's this say over here? Hmm. Pretty cool. I have to find out the deal. And we got a B model. Hydraulic tank on the back. Twin screw. I'm going to float this rag here. Sorry. This is not a professional video, just me, just a trucker with a camera, trying to record history. United Pipe. B61. You know, I'm not a, I'm, I'll admit I'm not a Mac guy. Like, I don't know my Macs. Like, I don't know one B from another B. I, I can spot a B81 and a B61. And that's about where my Mac knowledge stops, for the most part. Oh yeah, I'm pretty good at picking out a Superliner too. That's a, that's a skill I have that many people don't have. Oh, I found one. That's a Superliner right there. That's not. Now, so this one's got the long grill, and I'm gonna. You now, people are gonna watch this video that are here and know that I'm a fraud and I don't know my Macs from another. I don't know what was that like a Western or a California? Hey, what is this a Western or a California? What do you call this style? <laughs> yeah, I seven hundred. I seven hundred. Yeah. And one more question: What is that black one over there? A C model. C model. Is that from? That's made in America? Yeah, it's a Mac. Yeah, C model Mac. Never seen that kind before. Yeah, it's like an LJ cab with a shortened up B model kind of like a B seventy five like a B seventy five nose, nose but shortened up. It's got to be a real oddball. It is, yeah, C600. What year is that trailer over there? 1959, I believe. Guys. Wow. Wow. Really cool. That's Danny Rounds talking. He declines to be on camera. <laughs> Got beautiful CH. That's nice. I like that. A very tasteful looking truck. I like the pinstriping. And the American flag. A nice looking truck. Parked next to this beautiful R model. From the Damagella collection. That's an R model. Polished tanks, headache rack. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Let's see if the door's open. Very clean. Classic Mac. Got another Superliner here. Also owned by Paul Casper, who just left in the other red Superliner. He hauls for situate concrete pipe. Out of Situate, Massachusetts. You can see these trucks on the road daily. I see them all the time. And they got CB radios on those trucks. They actually work and they use them. It's a rarity these days, unfortunately. Gorgeous. 
gorgeous CL Elite triaxle. What a beauty. Boston Bandit. There's two Kenworths at this show. Is this one and mine? This one's the real deal. This one's seen the miles. It's on the coast to coast deal. Cool old Brockway. Maybe I should get a new Brockway instead of a new Kenworth. How cool would this be? How cool would this be to be going up and down Route 2? Jamming gears. Tony Cardillo, this is what we need right here. This is Tony, come on. Seriously, let's get us a Brockway. Oh my god, look at that interior. That's old school cool. That's fantastic. I could drive this thing. It's not in front of anybody for a while. Wow, what a nice rig. Look at all that leg room. Put it on cruise control and stretch your right leg out. It'd be great. I know. It's a joke. It's a joke. Another nice Mac. Now, what do you call this? Is this LJ? LJ, right? No, B73. Not a Mac guy. Not a Mac guy. I like this. B73. Look at that beautiful. Beautiful grill. This is. I like the look of this. Real trucks. Look at this plastic crap. Wow. Super, super cool truck. There you go, Brockway? That is so cool. What year is that? 72. Wow. So what's it get under the hood? Let's go to uh, 8B71 Detroit. Really? Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah, box like a bitch. Would you start it for me? Yeah. Can I get it on video? Yeah. You don't care? All right, I care. That's going to be great. Barks like a bitch. That's Boston talk for you right there. Thank you, that was awesome. No problem. What's up? Hey, Rob Green, where you been? I was over at Bob Green's. Oh, I'm checking it out. What a cool place. <laughs> Is everything cherry over there? It's cherry. Yeah. All right, it's time to roll out of here. That was a good time. I want to thank the Robs family for hosting and inviting me. I want to thank Toot, Kyle, Max. I'm sure I'm missing somebody, but thanks for the invite, guys. That was a lot of fun. We're going to head up north at a high rate of fuel consumption. We might do a truck wash when we get back. We'll see what's doing. My wife wants to go out to dinner. Priorities, priorities. My priorities are getting my truck clean for Monday morning, but hers might be a little different. We'll see. Toot, what's up? Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm gonna buy that. <laughs>
You gonna buy this? All right, brother. See ya.